Hello, my name is Shaquila and I'm a Learner Engagement Consultant, part of the Apprenticeship Team at the Grimsby Institute. Throughout this PowerPoint, we're going to talk you through how to apply for an apprenticeship with us at the Grimsby Institute. This PowerPoint includes all of our top tips and guidance to help you create the best application possible. If you follow the link to our website, you'll find all of our live vacancies from business administration to engineering, the possibilities are endless. Read through the vacancy description well. Make sure you're checking the location and that you're able to get to and from the workplace easily. Have a look at the standard on offer. Is this a qualification you want or have you already achieved it? Make sure you also view the entry requirements. It changes for each vacancy and if you don't have the correct requirements, we wouldn't be able to consider you for the apprenticeship. We'll discuss this further later within the PowerPoint. So why is a good application so important? Your application is what the employer will use to determine whether you should be shortlisted for an interview. This is the very first impression they have of you and this has to be a good one. By sitting and thinking through your application, rather than rushing through it, you'll be able to express just how passionate you are about this apprenticeship. You need to be able to stand out and having a strong application will help you to do just that. Remember how we told you first impressions are important? Here are seven top tips for you. It is important to apply all of these whilst writing your apprenticeship application. That way, you're ensuring the employer has plenty of information about you to determine whether or not they'd like to offer you an interview. So first and foremost, research the company. Head over to their website and have a look at what they do. It might be a lot more than you originally thought. Talk about your strengths. Now is your time to shine. Let the employee know that you're punctual or tell them about your personal achievements. Be proud of who you are. What skills would you like to improve and why? Look at the apprenticeship standard and think about what it entails. You'll learn lots of new skills. Think about how you're going to use these skills and apply them. Include all of your qualifications and work experience. It doesn't matter when you did them or what grade you got. It's still really important to share them with us. As for work experience, it shows willingness and determination, even if it was only for a week during school. Try not to leave any blanks. This is your chance to impress the employer. By answering every question, you're showing the employer exactly why you're a good fit. Tailor each application. You'll often find yourself applying for numerous vacancies with similar job roles, but each employer looks for different skills. So be sure to put the effort in, thinking about why you fit their role specifically. And finally, double check your application. Make sure that there's no spelling or grammar mistakes. Remember, all of this is going to contribute to the employer's first impression of you. After you've applied for a vacancy, we will then begin to process your application. You will receive an email with a link to a learner details and eligibility form. You can only complete this form on a computer. It is not compatible with mobile devices. You will then receive another email with a link to a BKSB assessment along with your personal username and password. These are often case sensitive, so please make sure you type them exactly as stated within the email. These assessments are nothing to worry about and are not timed. They just give us an indication of your current working level. It is, however, very important that you complete both the form and the assessments, as without them, we cannot process your application any further. Following your assessments and eligibility form will let you know whether you are ready to do an apprenticeship. If you are deemed apprenticeship ready, then this means we are happy with the level you're working at. We'll then put your application forward to the employer. However, if it is deemed that you aren't apprenticeship ready, then we will advise you of your next steps. This may include things such as upskilling in maths or English, but this is completely down to each individual. All apprenticeships have different entry requirements. Just because you're not apprenticeship ready for one doesn't mean you won't be for another. 
After we've discussed whether you're apprenticeship ready or not, we will send you a next steps card. This will display the outcome of our discussion along with further advice. If you have any questions about apprenticeships or you need further advice, then please email our team at myapprenticeship at grimsby.ac.uk. You can also call us on 0800 012 6656. For regular updates, we are on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and LinkedIn. All of our social media handles are on the PowerPoint. Thank you for listening and we wish you the best of luck with all your future applications.